Hello guys, I know it has been a little while. Finally moved into our new house and it is nowhere near ready, okay? But I thought I would give you a little bit of a tour. Why not? So we moved to a new subdivision. We're in Northeast Oklahoma City. I don't know if you can see that house has gone up really fast. If you look around, like there's hardly any houses yet, but they're building them really fast. So, got a pretty standard house. I'm not gonna go on the inside because it's not that interesting. It's just a bunch of rooms and we don't even have furniture hardly. We have half our furniture was delivered and the other half has not been delivered. And we really like this house so far. So got a pretty big front yard. Um, it came with a fence over here. It's real nice, something we wanted. It came with a six foot tall fence. We got more privacy, more room in between the houses. And uh, most of the houses here are made out of brick and we think it's because of the uh, possibility of tornadoes and strong winds and so forth and we are well aware of that in fact i have a tornado video that i'm building right now uh not a tornado video but a, a weather video where i went out and saw a severe storm it was really scary power line fell down in front of me all that kind of stuff but that'll be coming up pretty soon all right so our house came with uh, these groves of trees and i I do believe they are oak trees. They're kind of young, kind of small. They're not big trees, but I do believe they are oak trees. So they came with all this brush in here. I'm going to have to try to, what I'm going to do is clear this out eventually. We have a whole bunch of groves like this, and I'm going to rent one of those billy goats. I saw them at Home Depot. They're like this huge mower that can just munch right through that. Of course, not the big stuff, but I got to pull the big stuff out. And I'm going to clear these groves of trees out. Got a nice big front yard. I'm real happy about that. We bought some rocking chairs. Really love that. Um, they've got this red dirt here with red rocks. Everywhere is like this red dirt. Kind of gets all over your shoes and everything. It has a lot of iron in it or something. Um, I got these trees. They're all a mess. I'm going to be cutting down trees like that. Don't need that tree right there. Probably. I'm not sure. Going to leave most of the trees. I'm going to cut down like that little cedar tree there and clear this out clear that out just a bunch of work but I'm gonna leave these little groves here for, for privacy um, there's my n9y mobile still have Missouri plates and in, in Oklahoma you don't need plates on the front kind of cool okay so one of the downsides of this house is that we are kind of close to highway 44 so there is um, some noise here but that was the one one thing I was kind of like, oh, I don't like it, but you kind of get used to it. I'm already used to it. Also, that noise, it's louder on some days, like right now. Other days, it's quieter. It's kind of weird how that works. But anyway, I've got these groves. I can't wait to start. I can't wait to start clearing these out. There's some sticker bushes and stuff in there. But um, we had to lay down. They laid down some sod for us. We had some standing water in there. And so we, we did our final walkthrough. They uh, dug out some more. I said we didn't want that standing water. So the builders, they they put in all of this as new sod. I've been watering it quite a bit. Uh, this house came with sprinklers. I've never had sprinklers before. Also, check this out. We've seen a couple. This is a scorpion. Uh, little tiny guy. I, I did not know. I was sitting there on the front porch. And a little scorpion started crawling around on there and they're not poisonous in this area, but That's a new feature. I also have these really big spiders about that big that I've seen Lots of wasps, but no mosquitoes Woohoo So the little sprinklers here Kind of interesting. I've never had sprinklers before The ones here just pop up and kind of shoot a little bit, but the ones over there there I found out there's six zones so you can turn one zone on at a time It'll do an area, it'll do an area, it'll do an area, and an area all the way around the house. So, not that I want, I need that, you know, I don't care that much about having perfect grass or anything, but also, as you can see, I need a riding lawnmower because this is uh, almost an acre, acre lot. And I'm not going to use a push mower to do it, so I've got to sell my old push mower. If anyone wants an old Husqvarna push mower, I'm thinking about buying a little little zero turn uh john deere and then like i said i want i'm really excited about clearing that stuff out so all right so antenna possibilities i was thinking 
in the near short term see the problem is all my ham radio stuff is in several boxes and it's spread out like some is in storage some is over there some is over there some is over there all of my stuff has been in storage it's been quite a mess but we're really glad to be here okay so i was sitting here and i saw that scorpion crawl up on this right here some interesting things about this house that i've never seen before um it doesn't have gutters all the way around which i actually kind of like because gutters fill up fast that is the laundry exhaust from the laundry room i've never seen it up high like that i've always seen it down low that's interesting it's a new build 2020 our old house was a 1977 it's real interesting to go from a 1977 house to a 2020 house oh yeah also um I, they said i could take that dirt and fill in this holes the, the yard isn't perfect it's got little holes and ruts and stuff they said i could take that dirt which i have been now we'll head around to the back there's my trailer that has been invaluable man i've been moving furniture i've been hauling off trash i've been at a new table we buy a new table okay so my idea was three car garage this is an upgrade for us that's going to be kind of my youtube slash workstation area there's no basements for the most part there's no basements in oklahoma city area they say the ground is too hard here and if you have a basement the water will find it so everyone would would have an, a full basement of water that's why they don't have that so inside of there i'll show you here in a minute it's just a total mess inside of there i'll show you all right so the, the th things that are interesting there are just there's spiders everywhere here um lots of daddy long legs and we, we already hired a bug guy to come out our stuff is just kind of blah right i mean this is a lot of work you have no idea what went into this we could someday i'll tell you the nightmare story but okay so this is interesting this we're getting rid of those couches i hate them uh, somebody's gonna pick those up they have that cut out here for the uh storm shelter so here they build we are going to build a storm shelter. It's going to be about six foot by six foot. They're going to come in here and one day they can dig all this out. And they'll drop in this metal box, which is basically a storm shelter. And we will be underground. It's supposed, supposedly will handle up, up pretty much up to any anything you can throw at it. Um, assuming the house doesn't fall on it. Uh, some people use those as uh, oil pits, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. I got that from my mom. That's a really old refrigerator. My grandfather's brother, I guess that'd be my great uncle. He actually used this refrigerator. He used that. Oh, okay guys, I wanted to talk about one more thing that this house had that I was so happy, so surprised. I have fiber optic internet. Now it took them three times to come here to install it. But on the third time, he had to, I don't know what they did. They brought a, a contractor. My property goes out to here somewhere. And he dug this trench. I don't know, it looks pretty terrible to me. But he, he dug this trench and ran a line. I wasn't even home at the time. He ran a line over here. By the way, there's a lot of these daddy long legs and, and I don't really care about those. They don't bother me, but back here we ran a line for the fiber optic internet and this is it right here i guess he had to install that box holy crap see what the hell is that right is that a wolf spider okay so that's fine so he ran this here he had to install this box he said he didn't have enough slack i've got fiber optic internet i'm super happy about that first time i came back here there was a black widow up there we i never saw them in missouri in the first move to here you can kind of see there they have like that cocoon type nest i'm gonna have to do a lot more spraying around here i'm gonna spray it myself there's a hole right there i gotta plug that up man i don't want that crap there so anyway i've got fiber optic internet the other day i plugged it in at night and i ran a speed test it was like 650 megabits per second it's supposed to be up to a thousand or a gigabyte per second i mean per minute i did the upload speed it was another 650 mega megabits per second so my youtube uploads are going to be so much faster i think they used to be so slow 
now they'll be a lot faster i'm so happy to have fiber internet and it's only 50 bucks a month if you can get it um i will show you the after video when they actually cut this out so they told me that there's this new thing that they put underneath these slabs it's some kind of cabling system that keeps it from cracking i don't know what it is i don't understand it but the reason they cut that out is so you can dig there and not worry about cables so uh that is going to be almost a four thousand dollar investment into this house but well worth it i think we're going to put that in as soon as we move it adds value to the house and we'll feel a lot safer having a tornado shelter here before we go in the backyard i'll just have a quick note i could be wrong but the clouds here seem different than what i look at the clouds a lot as you may know the weather guy they seem different here they seem to hang lower for the most part the last we've been here about two weeks they seem to kind of those wispy ones that kind of hang around a little too low uh they're here all the time it's, i don't know why it could be my imagination i could be wrong but it seems like the clouds here have hang lower does that make sense and they they have that almost like a storm appearance all the time but i could be wrong oh before i go to the back here one more thing i was thinking about just for now um i could sit on the porch throw up an antenna here throw a wire there maybe have a just a quick wire here you know not, nothing permanent i could also because i own all of this right and there's right now there's ho no homeowners association there are rules but i could go from there all the way across the house i'm going to do something inter interesting that's what i'm talking about these these low clouds they just kind of hang they're they're here all the time and when i was in missouri it just it just didn't seem like that is it my imagination i don't know but when you watch that next storm video of mine holy cow dude it was scary i got caught in something that i didn't i couldn't get out of anyway this is weird they didn't give us a recycle bin they gave us two trash cans two trash cans uh, so we're not recycling right now but i don't know how that works all right so the stupid moving company there's one shipment that came of our stuff and then the other one didn't come yet okay so all i see right now is potential i see tons of potential back here antennas i'm gonna put that military mast right there it happens to be at my mom's house right now oh i hit a i hit a a cam a stealth cam here i'll if there's anything interesting on there i will show it to you the only thing we've caught i had it back there is we caught our dog snooping around back there uh we don't want her running around out here because she's gonna get ticks and stuff there's big spiders here there's a lot more spiders there's a lot more wasp and i'm gonna control the wasp there haven't been any mosquitoes knock on wood and i've got a whole bunch of these groves of trees which i just can't wait to start chopping down not chopping down but getting cleaning out because i want to create sort of a park back here i want to cut that down i want to cut that off i want to it can't he put a couple rock, the guy said he put a couple rocks here you can pick and choose rocks i just have to be careful there's not a snake under there there's a much more likely snake here in oklahoma than where i was in missouri see there i don't know what that is lots more dragonflies too never had dragonflies but i'm gonna get that billy goat and just munch all that stuff up i want to be able to walk around back here now he told me not to take that down because we're getting a lot of erosion i guess i don't know what to do with that you guys have any ideas about what i should do let me know but um i want this to be clear i might have a fire pit back here or something the sprinkler system covers everywhere that there's sod that's what they told me so there's no sod back there but we now have a septic system for the first time ever i've never had a septic system well here's what i was told there are two sprinklers so it goes through a process of like dirty water and then gray water and then clean water the three tanks over there let's just take a look and so what i was told was to only use a certain type of toilet paper which would be uh angel soft our inspector said only use angel soft and then and then he said uh, once a month whoa i just stepped in a hole right there that's the sort of thing i gotta fill up <laughs> it's kind of fun learning in a new yard isn't it uh, that's got to have a bleach you put a bleach in there once a month so it, it, he showed me he had these open the inspector did and it was a uh, dirty dirty water gray water clean water and then 
this pump over here every night i can't figure it out right now i've tried to set the timer but it just goes off i don't know when it goes off but it's always going off it has two sprinklers out there and it sprays the water back into the earth so it's basically it's kind of like your own little water treatment plant which is kind of cool he says it's a really really good system and if you do it right you only need to have that cleaned out like once every five years so they'll clean that out four or five years depending on how many people you have and all that stuff but i got a lot of junk trees in here which i'm going to be careful about i'm going to clear some of them out like that tree in there those are junk trees i don't want to i want to keep some privacy for the neighbor they have a really ultra modern looking house it's kind of weird but if it's a junk tree like that i'm going to cut that down and then i have a playground for antennas back here which is what i wanted and testing camping equipment I, it's kind of cool i have my own little forest this is exactly what i wanted i gotta cut that root out there so the worker guys that worked on this house apparently apparently my dog has been digging well apparently when they work they like take naps and breaks in these woods and they just throw all their trash so i've got all kinds of trash like i told them to pick it up but they didn't do it the uh builder people so this is the part i really like can't wait to clear this out i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't want this mud here I'd like some grass here or something but i'm gonna have to deal with that over the years once i clean all this out i might have a little camping area i might take my kids camping back here you know and have like a private little got this really nice fence i'm gonna unfortunately i have to have it painted or stained very soon i was told it'll turn gray very quickly if you don't stain it and it's a big job and i don't have much time i've got so much to do um it's been raining the last couple days been super super dry but and here's one of my favorite parts i can't even see over this fence it's over taller than i am set i have privacy back here so i'm gonna clear all that out clear all that out cut down some of the dead trees like that dead tree right there doesn't need to be there maybe create a really nice fire pit I saw this place that had a fire pit with like rocks and it had stumps and it was totally like safe you know to have a fire to be very very careful with fire around here obviously you could uh, burn the whole neighborhood down you hear that noise kind of annoying but some of that's an airplane i've been seeing these airplanes with a huge disc on top of them they're like i don't know some kind of radar plane or something you see those all the time here but For the most point port there's some noise but not too bad but i absolutely love having this forest you can have a lot of fun back here like playing in these trees with antennas doing some experimentation from right here i don't have to leave my house other than that we had a power outage a couple nights ago for about 10 minutes it just went out it was weird it was like half the house came back on and we couldn't figure out why the other half wasn't on like the garage and the bathrooms didn't work I didn't know it, but those G GFCI, GCFI, whatever those outlets are, you had to push the button and then half the other part of the house would work. So I guess it was connected to those and those had kicked off or something. So I put up that camera over there. I expect all kinds of critters to be moving in and out of here. We had a box. We had a box somewhere back here and there were these huge scratches in it. Don't know what, but they look like about that wide. Don't know what kind of thing would be scratching into that, but it looked too big to be a raccoon. All right, guys, there's more to come, obviously, but we had that table as a kitchen table and we have, it didn't really work in our house. So we just put it out here. You can just kind of see how much work I have to do. And I will start making ham radio videos very soon, but I actually don't even have a workbench or anything. I just want to give you guys an update. I'm really happy to have moved here. We are super excited uh, and hopefully I can make a lot better videos here. I found a little uh, possible skin cancer spot on me and I had it removed and all, but there's still the test is still out. That's why I'm wearing these hats now. I, I strongly recommend you block yourself from the sun. I'm, as of, I'm sure we're not all 20 years old anymore. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stay out of the sun. I'm going to start wearing more hats and stuff and stay out of the sun more. But. I'll let you know as things get better and better. I plan on putting, this is going to be my workbench area, third car garage. I'm going to put a workbench here, some tables, my soldering irons, all of that's going to be here for now. Eventually, 
I'm gonna build a shed, a storage shed, storage shed facility right here, like other people have them in this neighborhood. As time goes, I'm gonna be able to drive into it or something. Big old storage facility. But right now we're cramped and we're gonna be here. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me in Nanyo. Out.